Good day. Good day and welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, this is an interesting video. I thought I'd just pop on and experiment. So we've got good news and less good news. So the good news is we have a new camera and it's doing such a good job look at it it it's really plodding along well and oh, look at how well it's trying to refocus and it's not all blurry so that's the good news i'm very excited still haven't worked out all the kinks with the settings the bad news is I can't hear anything <laughs> through my headphones and I do not know why so this is our microphone this is our microphone the blue blue yeti and I love the blue yeti microphone but I don't know if it's the microphone that's giving me trouble or if it's the phone. So I've got a USB adapter. The Blue Yeti is a USB phone. You're able to plug it into your computer. It's great for if you're doing Zoom calls and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's a USB microphone. I have a USB adapter that plugs into this phone. And on my last phone, it worked fine. Um, I could just pop into the OTG settings. I could turn turn it on and it, it would just work. I would be able to record. I'd be able to hear myself as I was recording. Uh, for some reason on this phone, this is a Samsung Galaxy, I think think it's an S20, I don't know. For some reason on this phone, I plug it in. The phone acts as though there is nothing plugged into it. It just, it does not acknowledge the presence of a USB device. It doesn't acknowledge that there's anything plugged in. If I plug in just the adapter itself, it'll be like, oh hey, a USB device has been detected. And but if I plug in the microphone, it's like, oh, there are headphones. For some reason, it thinks that the microphone is just headphones. But it, like, it will only let me change settings for headphones. And if I play a video, I can hear the video coming through my headphones that are plugged into the microphone. I've tried unplugging the headphones to see if that makes the phone recognize it as a microphone. It doesn't. Uh, it just thinks that it's still headphones. So, well, the good news is that if I go into video and I hit record, it will pop up saying uh, recording with external device or something like that. So it, it is acknowledging the microphone. It is reading the microphone. It is connecting to the microphone. It's just for some reason not giving me the the feedback function so if anyone has any ideas about what is going wrong with this microphone please let me know um i i googled there was literally nothing helpful they all said just plug it in and it'll work so i plugged it in and i guess technically it is working technically I don't know, maybe there is a trick, a trick somewhere that I haven't learned. Maybe there's another way for me to access the audio coming through. If you know, if you have the answer, please give it to me. Uh, because I, I have very little confidence in myself when it comes to recording like this without the headphones for me to hear how loud or how soft the triggers are getting because um, 
really am guided by my ears. Uh, so without it, I feel very out of my comfort zone. I can certainly learn to film like this, but I also don't want to. <laughs> so I put this This is Peter Pan. Peter Pan by J. M. Barry. I've been reading it and it is so much better than any of the Peter Pan movies or remakes or anything like that. The story is brilliant and absolutely none of the movies or series or anything do it any justice at all. <laughs> so, um, it's actually really fascinating the character of Peter Pan in this book. If you haven't read it, I encourage you to do so. It's just the character of Peter Pan has so much more depth, uh, just the things that he does and everything. It's like, wow, that's uh, pretty weird. <laughs> So, the back says, all children grow up, all children except one grow up. Peter Pan is that exception, a fearless, resourceful boy who befriends the three darling children, Wendy, John and Michael. Teaches them to fly and whisks them away to Neverland. There they encounter the Lost Boys, a princess in peril, and villainous Captain Hook in a magical adventure story as ageless as its intrepid hero. I will say that the only version of Peter Pan that I enjoyed was the movie Hook with Robin Williams and was it Dustin Hoffman who played Hook? I liked that one because they didn't pretend that they were making this into a movie. They came up with a mostly unrelated storyline. And it was really interesting. And of course funny. Captain Hook was my favourite part, honestly. But who doesn't love Robin? So, those were biggest updates. Uh, you won't get this video for maybe another week. Uh, but this weekend I mentioned in I think a previous video that my parents keep the feasts in the Old Testament and at the moment it is the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths and they're away on holiday so we're going up to visit them for a few days we'll go to the last great day church service and spend some time on the beach they're up on the Sunshine Coast, so there's a, I think, beachfront accommodation they're staying in. So, I'm looking forward to a small holiday. 
there's so much we have to do at home, but it can wait. We need to finish our back doors. They're installed and they're secure, but the detailing around the edges is in a really bad way and I hate the idea of how many creepy crawlies are able to get in through the cracks. <laughs> and our front door needs replacing. We have the door that we're going to replace it with. We just, we need to cut it to size. We need to build on to the door frame to make it the right all line up and whatever. We've got crazy shaped doorways. It's ridiculous. Um, so we've got to do all that. We've got to coat it and then install the door and the locks and the handles and all that kind of stuff which I am looking forward to. I'm almost sad that I don't get to see it come together this weekend. I'm so excited for a new pretty front door. I also noticed when I started filming that this uh, video recorder, for some reason it has a red highlighted uh, count down, count up. I think it's count up. Uh, it gives me the time that I've been recording for and then it has a forward slash and the numbers 15, 32. And I think I'm just gonna let the video run until it gets to 1532 and find out what happens because I have a hunch that it will automatically stop recording once it reaches those numbers. So, I've got a few minutes left. It's the middle of the day. At the moment, my husband's at work. Ruth is pretending to have a nap. We have some lovely thumping in the background, courtesy of our neighbour's sound system. We can't hear the music, but we can hear the bass. And a guy who lives across the tracks has a big shed and I think he builds things. I'm not sure what things, but definitely involves metal and perhaps welding. We had a big storm last night, uh, probably the most rain we've had in a long time. It was really lovely. I love storms. No thunder or lighting, light, light, lightning, but swirling rain, hammering the sides of the house and the window. You can still hear the rattling. We've still got some of the breeze. And it's still cloudy. I'm praying that the weatherman will be wrong and we'll have more rain over the weekend on our little holiday. Once we're finished here, I'll go and continue packing for the weekend. Perhaps watch Emma's video on my purple life and enjoy a cup of tea. So, thank you for bearing with me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.